everyone welcome to part one of my d23 2024 vlog it is 7 41 in the morning today is august 10 2024 it's a saturday day two of the event today i parked at the anaheim convention center car park one and that was the security line that i went through it was a pretty smooth process there wasn't much people here and once you pass security you get to pick up your own schedule booklet over here This is the walkway to the convention and as you can see on the sides there they have character banners displayed all around. On the right hand side those are entrances that you can go into the hall so that's hall A and you see that people are already lining up inside. I'm not sure how you could get inside. I think those people got in really early. The show floor doesn't open until 9 a.m. First task of today is I'm going to go take a photo with the D23 sign with Sorcerer Mickey's hat and the sign is made up of Swarovski crystals. So let's go take a look. So this is the Sorcerer's Mickey hat and over there those are Swarovski crystals. It is currently 8.03 and I'm walking over to Hall D. I think this is for queuing to go inside the show floor. So let's go do that. Apparently they're handing out wristbands. I don't know what it's for, but the crowd's here. So I'm just gonna follow the crowd. Oh my God, look at this line. I'm so confused. Like, what is this for? Showroom admission to the end of the wall. I am not liking this new queuing system. I don't know how they're gonna let people in. It's currently 8.19 right now. And this is my place in line. I'm not sure where this is. I think I'm towards the back, but as you can see over here, there's more spaces here. So I guess there's more people that could come in and fill those spaces. I'm really confused. I don't like the system at all. Two years ago, they let us in by waiting outside, and when 9 a.m. hit, they just opened the doors, and you could just go in depending on where you were in front of the halls. That was a better system. I'm not sure why they're changing it to this this year, because this just looks like they need more people to manage it, and looks like it's going to be a disaster, but we'll find out. So while we're waiting, I'm just going to show everybody the badge for today. So today is Saturday, and this is the badge. It's really pretty. This is 2024 up on the top left hand corner and we have Sorcerer and Mickey in the middle and this is for Saturday. Here's the lanyard that I got. It says D23, the ultimate Disney fan event. And the major sponsor is Visa. So we have the Visa logo right here. And it's a really nice light blue color, which I really like. And they have little stars around. Something I will mention is that the hook to get the badge on here takes a little bit of effort because it's really hard to push this like you know this part it's kind of hard to push so just keep that in mind but other than that this is a pretty good lanyard and I do keep these as souvenirs and I hang them up in my room and this is a bag for this year it says August 9 10 and 11 these are the three days that the convention is held it's held at the Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim California and here's the Sorcerer Mickey logo with a D23 logo and here is the back. There's also an event guide. Let's take a look. Here's a map of the show floor. The show floor this year is quite big. Here's all of the booths and vendors. And this year they're doing something new. So they have a Honda Center map down here because all of the major panels, including the parks panel, will be held at the Honda Center instead of the Anaheim Convention Center, like it has been in the previous years. Here's a map of what is on the second floor and the North 200 level of the Convention Center and also third floor as well. Alright, so it's 9 a.m. and they just made an announcement over the speaker saying welcome but they haven't let anybody in yet so I'll let you guys know when I get there. They're starting to let people in over there. I think those people have reservations for something so they're letting those people in first. It is 9.16 and I am still here. There has been no movement at all in my section. And by the looks of it, I don't think anyone over there has moved either. 
It is 9.19 right now and you can see people are being let in over there. It's 9.23 and we are next. Alright, 9.24, I'm getting inside. Alright, 9.25, we're on the show floor. Let's head over to the Ravensburger booth. The show floor looks really fun this year. <laughs> booth is the Avatar Pavilion. It looks really cool. you to baby echo sure please this is baby echo she's our baby mountain banshee and she's freshly hatched she's eventually going to get pretty big and strong in fact you can see behind you how big and strong she's going to get wow but at this age they're still pretty docile which is great very cute yeah hi oh she likes that phone i goodness. know she loves it I just exited the Avatar Pavilion and that was hands down one of the best experiences I've ever had. It's so immersive and it was just really great seeing all of the props and costumes. Look at this one. I think these are the actual costumes that were used in the films, which is really cool. And I got a poster on the way up. Next, I'm gonna head over to the Chase Visa booth and see what they have. This is a D23 offer spot, and here's my gold member card. I got this really cute Mickey and Minnie. I think this is a keychain. It's really cute. And there's a lot of photo op opportunities around here. Right here, we have a Disney Broadway booth. Let's check it out. When we are talking about the theater, it is about the experience because you have a group of people coming together to share a moment in the same space.
here's what the 2024 Gold Member Collector Set looks like. I'm at the Descendants, the Rise of Red booth. I haven't watched this one yet. I've watched the previous ones and I really like the Descendants series. So hopefully this one is good. I'm gonna go do that next. So at Good Morning America, you can take a photo with the mug and it's kind of like you're the news anchor. The Descendants booth was a lot better than I expected. The visual effects inside was amazing and you get to film a video and also take a selfie. Really cool. Right now I am across from the Descendants booth. I am at the Disney Junior booth. I'm not sure what's going on here but I do see Spider-Man. Really cool. But yeah, it looks really fun so let's see what is inside here. We're at the Hulu booth and they're giving out this little lanyard and this is for the Great Pin Pursuit. So essentially you can collect a unique pin from each of these locations. <laughs> and on the back here this is a QR code telling you more information about the scavenger hunt. This is what the lanyard looks like and this is a lanyard for you to place your pins on. This is the Hulu booth and the Hulu headquarters is where you can get the pin and there is a little exhibition for this show. the D23 Emporium and looks like this is a place where you can buy stuff from different vendors. Artwork on sale, this really cool balloon. There are places to get food and this is one of the places. It's called Anaheim Fresh and there's plenty of seating inside. This is the line for the Marvel Pavilion. It's really packed, but I'm gonna stay in line because I love Marvel. And by the looks of it, I think they're doing a low-key thing. Welcome to the Time Variance Authority, the organization that monitors all of time. Pretty important stuff, isn't it? I'm Miss Minutes, and I'm here to welcome you to your future, working here at the TVA. 
Now you may be wondering, what role is right for me? Am I an intellectual analyst or a brawny minuteman? Do I belong on the judge's bench or in the archivist's file room? Great news, it ain't up to you. We've already chosen your future for you. You may see our Minutemen who'll keep you on the right path through our incredible facility. Feel free to look through our time doors, but don't go walking in, Annie. You wouldn't want to break any rules on your first day at work, would you? Run along now, and don't do anything I wouldn't do, or you'll be pruned out of existence. Have a lovely day! <laughs> says something, it's usually an order for you to do it. So here's your order, clear out to the back. It was nice to see you. I thought Star Lord was the captain. What? I thought Star Lord was the captain. Will you please stop calling him Star Lord? His name is Peter Quill. He made up his own nickname, which as everyone knows, is not a thing that you are allowed to do. You can't make up your own nickname. What about oh, Drax? Drax, Drax is, is the captain, right? Drax is the captain. Drax. Maybe Drax is the captain of Zernuts. That's all Drax is the captain of. everyone it is 12 44 p.m. so the line to get into the Marvel booth was a little over an hour but it was worth the wait because you actually got to walk through the time variance authority or TVA that was really well done and at the end you also get a job so I got analyst it even has the date here I'm currently in line at the box lunch booth for a little giveaway hopefully I get lucky today It is 1 p.m. right now and I am right next to the food area. We see a bunch of people eating their lunch. Also, I tried to get the virtual queue for the D23 Marketplace, but I wasn't able to. I clicked right at 1 p.m. and I don't know why, but I didn't get a boarding group. So I'll have to do standby for that later on. Hi. Thank you. After waiting in line for about 30 minutes, I went and tried my luck and as you saw from the footage there, I didn't win anything, unfortunately. So I think I'll go back later because you can go multiple times. So let's do that sometime later on in the day. And next I'm over here at the Disney Plus booth. They have a lot of different things on display here. I'm in line to get the pin for this particular booth. And around here, there's actually a lot of photo op opportunities. Here's the first photo booth opportunity. This is for Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And you can do a really cool pose down there. Now 
now I'm in line to get my D23 hat. This is so much prettier than I expected. isn't too bad so I am back here and hopefully I get luckier this time. Thank you. So unfortunately it didn't win again. I will definitely be coming back again. Okay yes sorry let's do it. Alright so if I'm gonna ask a question raise your hand whoever's the first raise your hand I'm not picking the people because I don't want to I'm not picking so y'all think you should do that. We're back here at Ravensburger. It is 2.09 p.m. The line is surprisingly not that long right now. I'm going to be getting the promo. I think there's a special photo card and a pin. So over here at this booth, they are promoting the trading game Lorcana. Right here. Last time it was like... And they're also selling items here. So there's puzzles, there's games, and Lorcana cards. And you see the ones here are sold out. This is what the promo card looks like. It's so pretty. It's holographic and it's Sorcerer Mickey. Here's what the front looks like. And here's what the back looks like. Right outside of the booth, you can actually play Lorcana and you see people there actually playing the game, which is really cool. It is 2.24 right now. I'm gonna go eat lunch and we'll come back later. It is 2.31. I'm gonna go to the food trucks and see what options there are for lunch. Last time when I came in 2022, they had really good food truck options and everything was pretty good. So let's see if this time selections are as good as the one from the last expo. Alright, time for food. Let's go on a food truck tour. So first one we have right here is a mini donut food truck. The next one over here, they have mac and cheese, chicken tenders, chicken sandwiches. This one over here is another dessert truck with churros, funnel cakes, acai bowls, and ice cream. You just gotta spin around slowly. This truck I have two years ago. Their Cali burrito is really good. I might have it again today. This one is a Greek Mediterranean cuisine. So this is what they have. And this one is selling hot dogs, but specialty hot dogs. So these are the options. There's another Mexican option right here. This one, I'm not sure what it is. Looks like they're selling fried chicken, sandwiches, pulled pork fries, and a few other items here. This one over here is a Latin Bistro. They actually sell steak and fries, a paella bowl, and tacos. This is quite interesting. This one is a German-Turkish Mediterranean fusion. Here's their menu. This one's an Asian fusion. They have uh, garlic noodles, rice bowls, salad bowls. And lastly, we have the coconut truck. This one is selling, I think, Asian food. So rice bowls, orange chicken, teriyaki chicken. Those are all the options for this year's food trucks. And I believe they're the exact same food trucks, maybe with the exception of one or two trucks. But the majority of them were the same ones that were here in 2022. Okay, now the main question now is which truck do I want to eat from? On karaoke bus, it's right in front of the Marriott. They have a small little parking lot that's close to this side of the hotel. I just finished lunch. I ended up getting the California burrito with chicken. It was as good as I remember two years ago. It wasn't cheap though, it was $19. But I think it was well worth it. Right, it is 405 and I am back here. Alright, All right. good luck. There you go. Come on, come, come, come. Oh! oh. Can I flick it? Can I flick it? Can I flick it? Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. Thank oh, you so thank much. you. You guys, third time's the charm. 
So here's what I got. I got a shirt. This is a t-shirt, large size. I don't think they were looking at the sizes. They just handed me a random shirt. But it's really cute. It's Mickey. I think it's Cowboy Mickey. Really adorable. I was actually the last one in line. They actually capped the line after me, so I was really lucky. Oh no, I was gonna go to the Target booth, but it looks like they're closed for a day. Seems like the show floor has kind of quieted down a little bit. So I'm towards the front of the show floor. I'm where the Dorables booth is. It looks really cute, so let me check it out. They also have the Dorables on sale, so you can purchase them over here. than I expected. There was a photo booth, it took four photos and it actually printed it out for you which is really nice and I also got adorable which is really cute. Here's the famous Pixar ball wall. I'm over here at the Disney Cruise Line booth. It's really cool because it looks like an actual cruise. Like These are the windows for the staterooms. Let's go see what the inside looks like. So we have Coco right here. This is really cool. Guitar. This is from the Haunted Mansion. That looks really cool. We have a model of the Disney Wish. Fans of all ages, D23 shuttles are now open. Right across we have the villas at Disneyland Hotel. There's a cute photo off here with the Steamboat Willie really boat. And the newest Disney cruise called Disney Treasure will be launching real soon. I'm really excited for this one. Let's go check out this exhibition.
metallic paint and the purple color that was developed by the designer Tanya Morris. And uh, but based on Over here at the Disney Weddings Pavilion, and these are wedding dresses designed with the theme according to different characters. The ones I just showed are themed after Maleficent. These two are really pretty. Look at the detail work. That's amazing. This black one's really pretty too. And this one is themed after Jafar. There is a carriage in front for photo opportunities. This is the one based off of Tiana. I really like this one. This one is based off of Rapunzel. And this one over here is based off of Ariel. This table setup looks really elegant. Here's a cute little photo opportunity here. Over here at the Disney Legends booth, I found something really cool. This is Julie Andrews' handprints. I think she signed that by herself, and these are her handprints. So cool. Okay, I'm over here at Talon Central because I have a reservation for the Loricana artist signing, so let's go. Now I'm over here at the National Geographic Hexadome Experience. I think there's a pin to collect here, so let's go. But the wait time for this is way too long. It was 40 minutes, but the actual experience was pretty cool. It is 7.06. Convention has officially ended for today. I did so much today. I am shocked by how many things I was able to accomplish. I'm really proud of myself. Tomorrow we're going to explore upstairs because there's actually more things upstairs. And I have a reservation for a musical panel tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. It was a productive and really fun day and I have to go rest my legs now because I've been standing for way too long. Alright, so I gotta go rest up and I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when I post a new video. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.